the Leitzwald, just southwest of the town of Sins. From these woods, the Germans counterattacked Butzdorf and Tettingen, mid-January 1945. However, by the end of that month, U.S. troops had advanced into these woods, securing them. From here, and from the town of Nenig, the 94th Infantry Division would seek to cross the road connecting Remick to Orschultz and take Sins itself. Okay, I'm standing now um, to the north of what is called the Lateswald. Um, to my right is um, Unterseebusch, or as it's properly called, Unterseebusch. Uh, and to my left, you can see the first buildings of the town of Sins, which extends further north. Also to my left is Munzingen Ridge. It's the east side that I'm facing. And then toward the west, there's the Moselle and the towns of Nenich, Berg and Wies. And the road you see just there at the end, that's the road running from Remich, which is in Luxembourg, to Sins and up to Munzingen Ridge. At the end of January 1945, 301st uh, Regiment was deployed exactly in this area. And this is the spot where I think that um, H Company, the heavy machine guns, were, um, were put. Uh, and uh, that this is the spot where Herbert Ridyard describes uh, having his machine gun position his heavy machine gun position covering uh, sins uh, describing where he takes uh, some man across the fields to sins to the first buildings of sins uh, across a minefield uh, which he could spot because it had been raining for a couple of days and the snow was um, melting away and he could see the mines through the snow so he led these men safely through the minefield from where I'm standing right now. So as I am making my way into the woods, there's a big trench running into the woods towards what Herbert Richard describes as a big hole. So I'm moving there now and this big hole would have actually been a German shelter, a German position which was um, defended by an entrance defense and uh, then it went, it continued into uh, the main position, a shelter bunker. So from the edge of the woods, um, a trench would lead up to an entrance defense and then it would continue into the shelter bunker position, which was in fact an earth bunker, it was not a concrete bunker or something. It would have been covered by logs or stuff and there might have been, you know, 12 men, 40 men inside and all around there's German trenches uh, continuing through these woods to the um, southwest corner giving clear observation of Tettingen and Butzdorf. That part of the woods was actually used by the Germans for their first counterattacks on Butzdorf and Tettingen. So Herb Ridger describes um, besides from these big holes that he needed to go through a shallow trench uh, and then reach his uh, machine gun position. There's no pits that indicate any American positions on that edge of the woods. In my front however there are and I will take you to them. So in the back now is the big German shelter bunker and then um, while I'm going down into the um, entrance defense I walk towards where uh, Herb Richards machine gun position might have been. So I'm walking in the German trench and here comes a shallower trench to the edge of the woods. I'm getting to a depression at the edge of the woods and there is what I think could be a machine gun position. Walking toward the edge of the woods. So this would have been Herb Richards position and then if I turn and um, face west right there where the two trees are there's another position and Herbert describes the left position firing left of sins 
towards the Untersee bush and um, the road, which is exactly what I'm looking at now. Looking towards Sins out of Herbert's position, uh, you can clearly see that he would have had a uh, clear shot toward all the buildings where sin started uh, and there are more but they are obscured by the um, branches of the tree uh, in the right of the picture but from here you would have a perfect position later that day the tour group would join wim shellberg at sins and the latticewald woods where wim would guide herb ridyard veteran of company h 301st infantry to his old machine gun position at the edge of the woods helen patton granddaughter of General George S. Patton, commanding 3rd Army, would join the group, awarding Wim Shelberg with the Liberation of Europe Medal. The medal is awarded by the Patton Alliance to those who, as stated by Helen Patton, go the extra mile to preserve the memory of World War II for future generations, thereby claiming their place on the stage of history.